What is going on YouTube? Sticky back at it and we are officially ready to rock and roll on non-legendary global section of DD6. And you're probably thinking to yourself, Sticky, what took you so long? You're a moron. Why aren't you already at Cosmic or through Cosmic? Uh, well, it's because I took a little bit of a different approach to going into DD6. And so that's what we're going to talk about today real quick. We will have videos coming up on the channel uh, going through all the attacks that we take into global and see how everything went, yada yada. But right now, this video, we're just talking about what I started with in DD6, the first five characters that I brought to G18, why I did what I did, who I'm going to be bringing into DD6 global, and we might even look at who I have earmarked for the future sections whenever we get there, but I'm in no rush to build those characters up. We'll see what happens with character releases and all that. So, my first five that I brought into Dark Dimension 6, starting with that unrestricted section, were Kang the Conqueror, 1, Nova, 2, Apocalypse, 3, Vol, 4, and Photon, 5. Now, here's the thing, you'll probably be thinking to yourself, Sticky, you stupid bastard, you need to bring in five global characters so that you can knock that out because the first section's global and you can get right into global, right? Look, uh, that makes a whole lot of sense. Um, for me, however, I took a different approach. I'm not saying it's a better approach, I'm just saying it's a different approach. Uh, you know, I, I know a lot of people in chat hanging out with me on Twitch right now are like, you're an idiot for doing that. Absolutely bring in five global. And that's cool. This is just the approach that I took. Why did I take that approach? Uh, one, I am free to play, right? I, you know, I joke about being free to crack and whatever, but I, you know, I took over this account. I don't spend money on the game. So all of the G18 that I get is just trickled in from however generous they are from events and what I get from rating and, and this and that. So it's slow for me. Uh, it's very slow. So, instead of what I view as a hurry up and wait approach, which is essentially I build up five global characters so that I can get through unrestricted, I'm already ready to go for global, I get through global, uh, and then I'm waiting anyway. I'm just sitting there, uh, and there's nothing I can do because it takes so long to get this G18 that it doesn't really matter that I'm already done global. The no rewards aren't quite that good, I'm sitting there anyway, it is what it is. So, my approach that I took was... I wanted to bring in the five best characters that I could that are going to give me value immediately, even if they can't all be used in global, possibly none of them except for APOC can be used in global, uh, but they're going to give me immediate value in many areas of the game that are important to me and there is no reasonable expectation that they are going to be replaced when I finally get to their section. So what do I mean by this? Kang, one of the best characters in the game, one of my first five. Kang, I use Kang everywhere, every day. He's incredible. When I go to Cosmic, he's going to help me carry it. Kang's amazing. He's coming. I brought him up immediately. Nova. Nova, at the time, was the best legendary in the game. Best legend. Like, he was coming to DD6 legendary section, right? Like, you're, you're going to bring Nova, probably. Uh, most of the legendaries are kind of terrible in this game uh, at this point. So, Nova was coming. He was an easy pick. He was also very useful in the Black Hat trial. Critical in the Black Hat trial. So, I brought him up. I also use him pretty much everywhere. Apocalypse. Next to Super Scroll, best character in the game, right? Obviously, he's coming. I use him every day, everywhere. No questions asked. Vol. Uh, now, I brought her up before we got the Bifrost room in Cosmic Crucible. So, that was a nice added bonus. I didn't know that they were going to be that amazing. Vol G18 has won me crucibles because they get hung up on that room every once in a while. Uh, additionally, we're pushing 1.6. I had uh, a free to play Vol, uh, and a big Vol helped carry me consistently through the um, through the Mystic section there, and I'm glad that I had her. And so she was an easy pick. She also will carry you through DD6. She's amazing. Uh, and then Photon was relatively inexpensive, if memory serves correctly. She's also part of one of the, probably the best team. Like, she's part of the, the Secret Defenders, right? It's like the best team in the game. So, for me, those were easy picks. When I get to their, their sections, Kang's coming to Cosmic. He's going to Legendary. Apocalypse is going to carry me through Global. Vol's going to help carry me through Cosmic. Uh, Photon is also Cosmic. She's amazing, uh, incredible character in Cosmic, relatively inexpensive, and on the best team in the game. So that was my approach to that. But what that meant was that I was then slower to get into global. But again, for me, it wasn't a big deal because I would just get through global right away and then I'm sitting there waiting anyway. So I thought I might as well get value elsewhere as much as I can 
with my top five picks. Uh, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Did you choose to go that route? Did you go the bring in five global characters first route so you can get through that quickly? How's that working out for you? Bearing in mind, again, I am free to play. I don't buy the G18 offers or anything like that. So it's a slow grind. It's a slow grind. But we have gotten through uh enough gear we've gotten through the unrestricted i also didn't put videos up about that because i it blew it up like kang nova apocalypse vol and photon i didn't make any videos for that on the unrestricted section it wasn't super eventful we pretty much one shot every node i think one node we might have used the free dark dimension refreshes on uh to get through it like two taps but it was it was a total non-event it they just, that team just absolutely destroyed it. That's not why I brought them in. It was just an added bonus. But yeah, there's no content for that because it was, it was incredibly uneventful. It, nothing happened. We just destroyed it. Uh, all right. So that brings us to global and I am now ready to go into the global section. And so what characters am I bringing? Uh, let's see if we can sort this by gear tier down. No, up. Maybe. I don't know. So we are bringing in Black Widow, Apocalypse. Quicksilver, Titania, and Dark Beast. Uh, so here's the thing. I was a little on the fence about some of these picks. And just real quick, I want to touch on kind of my thought process going into this. I wanted characters, and I want characters in DD6 that when I get done with DD6, I'm going to look back and I'm going to be thankful that I have that character at G18. Or at least I'm not going to look at it and be like, like, Jesus, what am I going to do with this gear tier 18 saber tooth or stitcher you know what i mean like i'm not saying those are terrible picks if you just need a cheap option because you're gonna blow through it and that saves you a bunch of time you're gonna get super scroll so much quicker then sure that's just not the approach i've ever taken to dark dimension i like to have good characters but there needs to be some give and take right i can't just take the best characters most expensive characters in the game because they're the best and and whatever like we only get so much gear. I want to get Super Scroll in as reasonable as a time as I can get him free to play without totally effing myself over with gear. Uh, so we made some concessions. But Black Widow, part of the Infestation team, she's a pretty good character. Uh, Infestation is pretty hard countered at the moment with Tangle Web and Kang in war. That being said, uh, you get enough big, a big enough Infestation team. Some people can get tripped up on that if they don't have a big enough... Uh, tangled kang to go into that so there's value there she's also inexpensive she's skill there's not that many great skill characters in the game so she came along not my favorite pick in the world but she's fine she's i think she's gonna do fine things and they're giving people speed up uh, a little bit of control effect yada yada she was relatively inexpensive she's part of the infestation team it is what it is. We brought her because we need to make some concessions somewhere. Uh, Apocalypse is an absolute no-brainer. He basically carries the section. Uh, Quicksilver. Quicksilver, I was actually on the fence about uh, because I really liked the, have, uh, the idea of having a G18 Weaver. Again, not about how she would perform in DD6. I think she would be fine, but not spectacular. But more about how often I find myself using her in combination with Doom and Cosmic Crucible and him taking the highest damage character on the ride. And almost always, I, I wish that's Weaver or I hope that to be Weaver. And that's not always the case, um, which is a bummer. Uh, I think Weaver's going to have long term value. I think Quicksilver, probably a better character overall, probably going to have uh, more legs. Ultimately, I decided to go with Quicksilver. Uh, but I, I don't hate, I honestly don't hate Weaver. I know a lot of people in chat do not love Weaver. Uh, again, it's not about what I think she's going to do or not do for me in DD6, because I'm going to get through that anyway. But I do kind of like the idea of her, you know, continuing that synergy with Doom and, and her going on the ride, because that's so, so effective other, you know, as opposed to other people going on the ride. Uh, is what it is. Doesn't matter. I went with Quicksilver. A uh, little bit more expensive. I think he's going to have longer legs, uh, and he's certainly an incredible, incredible character inside and outside of Dark Dimension, uh, and I think I'm going to be glad that I have him at G18. Uh, Titania, bio character, um, e relatively easy pick for me for, for DD6. She's part of the Masters of Evil. I very much enjoy that team. I love Cosmic Crucible. It's not necessary that you have a giant Titania, but I think she's going to add some decent control effects, be able to ability block some key, uh, key targets. Uh, I use Masters of Evil and Crucible all the time. I think they're going to have some long legs there. Uh, and so, yeah, I brought her along. She's relatively inexpensive, bio character. 
it is what it is, right? We got to bring five people into here. I could wait forever to go in and hope for future patches where someone cheaper and better comes, but we got to do this at some point. So Titania, I think, is a good pick for that section. Uh, and then finally, Dark Beast. So I'm going to have a little bit of mutant presence in Dark Dimension 6 Global. Uh, and my choices were kind of between Gambit, Nemesis, and Dark Beast. Now, I will say I think Nemesis almost certainly would have been a better specific to Dark Dimension 6 pick because of his abilities doing uh, percentage health steal. Like, for sure would have been a better pick. Uh, Gambit, I think, would have been fine. Uh, I wish Unlimited were a little bit better, but I don't think Gambit's like a terrible pick for this. Uh, I ultimately decided to go with Dark Beast, however, because outside of DD6... When you lose Dark Beast on the Death Seed team, everything kind of falls apart. He's super critical to that team's success. So maybe him being G18 might help him live a little bit longer. Uh, and that team can hang on a little bit longer. Maybe in a, uh, you know, Death Seed into Bifrost uh, matchup in, in Crucible. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to make a difference. Uh, probably, probably won't. I don't know. But we had to bring someone in here. Uh, I opted for Dark Beast, but I think Nemesis is probably a better pick for DD6 specifically. And I don't think Gambit's the worst pick in the world, although he is uh, Osmium. So you gotta, gotta, out of uh, Focus Catalyst, gotta, you know, gotta make a decision on Osmium there. Uh, maybe you want to bring in MLF for, for Legendary Horseman section, whatever. I don't know, totally up to you. But that is where I am at currently. That's kind of my thought process. And I will give you guys a little sneak peek as to what I'm thinking for the remaining sections. Nothing is set in stone. Uh, I reserve the right at any time to change my mind, as always. Uh, but so here is uh, our global guys that we have picked out ready to go in. Uh, I already have Vol, so Cosmic's obviously after global. We already have Vol built, we have Photon built, and we have Kang the Conqueror built. Uh, none of these characters are built, but I have them earmarked probably coming to City for me. Uh, I do already have Nova and I have Black Cat up to G18 because they're both incredible and they're absolutely coming along. So as far as Cosmic, that's kind of what I'm eyeing up next. We have two more slots we need to fill. Uh, and what I am probably going to do, again, uh, you know, subject to change. Right now, I'm probably going to bring in Star-Lord Annihilation and Kestrel. That's what I'm thinking. Star-Lord Annihilation, not an amazing character not that important on his team but that team is going to be useful in war for a long time to come that's important to my alliance uh therefore important to me in some way um he's a skill character he uses a unique that's not particularly in high demand that's the judas bullets here kestrel uh i think is a, still a fantastic character she brings a lot to the table um in a lot of ways and the added benefit there is that she is a combination of skill and tech i think it's two pieces skill and one piece tech that might be reversed i don't know uh, but that's what i'm eyeing up right now that being said i might i might it depends on where i'm at gear wise and who i ultimately decide to bring into the rest of these sections i might drop either star lord or annihilation or kestrel uh in favor of sylvie and the only reason i say that is because in cosmic crucible Granted, my Sylvie is nowhere close to seven yellow, let alone seven reds. Um, but a G18 Sylvie has a crazy amount of resistance and it makes it a RNG nightmare when you bring in that Death Seed team as to whether Apocalypse can strip her buffs and apply the ability block. And if you can't do that, regular Death Seed pretty much loses immediately. And sometimes Apoc Death Seed can claw the way out of that. Uh, but she's Mystic. She's not the most expensive Mystic in the world. Um, three pieces, so not super cheap and not super expensive. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I need to figure out kind of what I'm doing with the rest of these sections here. And then I'll, that'll sort of inform this, this decision here. But she might come. Otherwise, right now, I'm kind of eyeing up Kestrel and Star-Lord Annihilation. But we will see what happens. In any event, that is all. Just want to give you guys a little insight into the characters that I'm looking at right now, who I've already brought up, who is going to go into global with me, all that good stuff, and a little bit of my mindset going into that, and why I'm doing what I'm doing, and doing done doing what I done did. Uh, so yeah, uh, stay tuned to the channel if you guys want to see 
the attacks into Global Cosmic City. Going to be a while for the rest of them, but Global, we're going to be getting in to this evening. We will record all of our attacks. We'll see how that goes, see how this team does. I imagine they will do a pretty good job here. Uh, and I'm excited to get into that. If you guys want to see those attacks and see how they did, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you hated it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you love these picks? Do you hate these picks? Are you going a different direction? Do you think it's absolutely moronic that I would bring in anything other than five global characters initially to DD6? And if so, uh, I've been interested in your, your opinion on that. Again, through the lens of, of free-to-play, just understanding that's a slow trickle of gear, uh, which to me, again, is kind of a hurry-up-and-wait scenario. But interested in your guys' feedback. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate y'all. See you in the next video. Stay sticky. Bye!